Hi everybody, I'm Mark from Route 249. I'm back again with the Zoom HD16 with our final episode of computer applications. The only applications left for us to go through are how this is used as a mass storage and you can move files from the Zoom to the computer or from the computer to the Zoom. And we're going to show how that's done. I've hooked up a USB port. Uh, this happens to be a Windows application here. I don't know very much about Macintosh, so if you have a Macintosh, there are some differences which you probably already know how to do what I'm doing on your Macintosh if you are familiar with your Macintosh computer. This will be the same. To hook into your USB in the mass storage, you hold shift and hit the USB. It's a number three button. And it asks if you want to enter mass storage. We hit enter and it goes into what's called mass storage. Now your computer will acknowledge this as an external hard drive. In the book it says to do it the way that I am doing it. So we'll show you that. You go to start button and go to your computer and here you will see it has a HD E and F. Now your F, it's also over here, your F is a your system files so you don't want to be getting into those. Your E shows all your projects. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take project 1 and it's as simple as drag and drop. All you have to do is pick up this file, we'll take it over and put it on our desktop. Now it will copy that project to our desktop so that you have a backup copy of that project. If you wanted to back up all of them, it's as simple as, I'll show you here just as soon as that's done. Okay, it's done. It's simple as going and saying I want to do this, all these projects and just take them and drag them in there. Uh, it, it's that simple to do. You just drag and drop them. Alright, then we have, you know, minimize this, now we have this project that I copied in our on our desktop as a backup. And hey, let's say you want to take that file that you backed up and put it back in here. Maybe you corrupted some files. Maybe you erased the project. Maybe you uh, redid some uh, tracks that you didn't like and you just wanted to do it. And that's the same thing. It's just a drag and drop. So we go to here on our desktop, we pick up this project number one, we take it over here to HDE and just drop it in. Now it's asking you if you want to replace this project with the one that was just put in. And that's because we already had the project there. If we hadn't had a project there, let's say that you deleted it off of your HD to make more space for some of the projects you're working on. And now when you put it in, there was none. It wouldn't even ask you this. It would just put it in there. Here it's asking if you want to replace it. I'm not going to replace it because we've already got it there. But if you had some corrupted files or something, some reason that you wanted to replace that, your backup would replace it by hitting yes. That's one thing that you can do with your computer in mass storage. Another thing is, go to project one, we'll double click on that, and now it has what is called a take folder, and we can click on that, and all of these are WAV files. If you had a Macintosh, they would be AIF files, but these happen to be WAV files, and let's say that you wanted to listen to one of them, well, uh, it's as easy as just you can click on it and play it. Or if you wanted to copy it 
to your desktop to store for later. You just go over there and drop it in, drag and drop, same thing as before. Now it's copied onto our desktop here. There it is. If we want to listen to it, we can listen to it. If I was wanting it for maybe a YouTube video I was doing for an intro or something, I could use it right from here. And that's how that's done. The last thing that we can do with this is we can take a WAV file and put into our project from the computer. You can't drag and drop that. You have to actually put it into your import folder and then go into your project and physically import it in as a VTake. And we're going to show you how to do that. On my desktop I've got some WAV files. We're just going to pull one out. And it's as simple as drag and drop. We're going to take uh, this one here and we're going to go over here to our project one and when you just just put it over top of it it'll come down with what is underneath it. Now we're going to put it into our import folder. It says copy to import. I just drop it in there and so now if we go to this import folder we'll see that it has that in there. Now when you go to terminate your connection you need to first do it on your computer or it could corrupt your files so we go here to devices and printers and here's your HD here and click on it and it shows different things you can do with it but we're going to eject it. it says down here safe to remove hardware so now we'll hit shift and USB again it says terminate, we hit enter, and it terminates your connection. So now it's no longer connected to your computer. And now we can go in here to that import folder, and I'm going to show you how you can put it in to your project as a VTIG. We're back to project number one, and we'll go to our track parameter. And we're going to arrow down to where it's our track one, take one. Uh, these are those different takes that we had that we saw earlier in our take file. There's number one. We're going to go over here to track seven and put it in. So here we are on seven. And I'll hit up my function. This is erase VTake. Copy VTake, Move VTake, Exchange VTake, Import VTake. That's what we want to do. We want to import it from our file. So we hit Enter. Now it says Import from Project. That means if it was from a different project, we wanted to do it from Project 2 or 5. We could import it from there. Well, we don't want to from another project. Import folder, yes, that's what we want to import it for. The other one is a CD-ROM. If you wanted to import it from your CD, you could put it in. But we're on our import folder. We'll hit Enter. Import M-Thrill, uh, E-Minor Thrill, yes. So we hit Enter. It says Import, yes. So now it's importing that particular thing. All right, it's done putting it there. So if we go to track, say, 7, and we should be able to play that. And so it's there. And it's that simple. And that's all the applications with a computer that you can do. Well, I hope you found that informative. This concludes our computer applications. And we'll see you next time. Music beats the highway of life at Route 249. Take care.